sometimes I hate the fact that I exist because existing means that I have to take showers and showers mean that I have to look down at a body that feels like it isn't mine as I undress it. I get to feel like I'm undressing the body of a stranger. I recoil every time, sick and self-loathing. What am I doing? Why am I undressing a body that isn't mine just to bathe it and towel it dry and clothe it in pajamas over underclothes that betray the femininity I don't want and expose the masculinity I don't have? Shouldn't I only undress other bodies if I have the intention of fucking them? Of looking at them with love and respect and admiration and not with hatred or full blown sour disgust coating the insides of my mouth with a tang that tastes like biting down on cherry pits hard and bitter and painful from the tips of my teeth to the center of my skull sometimes i dream of approaching my mother and begging her begging her to let me do anything to alter this body that i live in because it is my body isn't it why do I have to take her comfort over mine? Why do I have to grow up and move out and be far away from the people that should love me and support me no matter what I look like before I can take shots of testosterone at the very least? Why do my siblings, all three of them, get everything they ask for without second thoughts, without hesitation, without arguments and shouting and exclamations of I'm just not comfortable with you looking like that can't you wait until I don't have to see you or because I said so according to you mama I'm not allowed to be comfortable in my own body because you don't want me looking any different than the baby girl you still think I am I still look a curvy I don't want and I look nothing like the man that I am. All I want to be is hard edges and itchy scruff and rough shouts of laughter while I can eat until my hollow leg can handle no more college cafeteria, greasy pizza, and cheap half frozen soft serve while I gain weight and muscle mass like it is a job I am getting paid top dollar to do. Instead, I get to push my mother's I don't want to see you like being like that and my father's I'm still getting used to it under my skin like splinters that I put into place with a heavy hammer and only barely avoid breaking bones each and every single time. I get to listen to my homemates call me she and people doing their jobs at fast food places or grocery stores calling me ma'am as they check me out and hand me my receipt and I'm not allowed to correct them to say he or sir because my mother says that's not what they want to hear. That's not what they're asking for. That's not the answer they want. But it is what I'm asking for. It is what I want to hear. Nobody asked me if I wanted the private parts of a woman and the mind of a man. Nobody asked me if I wanted to hear my classmates whisper, why is she using the men's restroom? Every time I slip out of the classroom and into what should be my sanctuary outside of this very dorm I live in. No one asked me if I wanted to defend myself with can a guy go to the bathroom without having his masculinity questions? As a young man stands at a urinal and tells me, I thought you were a woman. Nobody asked me if I wanted to hear, I thought boys weren't allowed in this dorm. Does that mean you're actually a girl? When all I wanted to do is to go to sleep after a long day, but now I won't be able to until I can claw these words from my mind and leave it blank but raw and bleeding. Nobody asked me if I wanted any of this because I don't want it.